Okay, today I'm going to replace a 10 watt solar panel poly crystalline with a 25 watt mono crystalline panel. Um, this is for a simplex repeater setup and a 10 watt just doesn't do enough in low level lighting and stuff to give me a charge that I need. And I'm going to attempt to remedy that by replacing it with 25 water. Real quick, this 10 water is a HQST. And hopefully you can see here that it is a, um, a glare. Get out of the way. Uh, what we got here? 10 watt open circuit voltage is 21.5 volts. Amperage 0.62 is the maximum. Uh, operating current, optimum operating current 0.578. Okay, this one is made by somebody called Power Eco. Not too familiar with them but the price is right. So, this mock critter here, whew, it has, hold on, I have to move this thing so I can see it a little bit. My eyes are whitewashed now. Okay, 25 watts, uh, peak circuit voltage 22.6. Um, it says max power current is 1.39 amps short circuit current 0.49 amps 1.49 amps so uh, since we got them on the back side let's look at real quick at the uh, difference in the, the junction boxes HQST is a full-size box and it's much smaller on this model here um, but <clears throat> we'll do the job we'll see uh, one more difference in these two is the length of the cable I hook in this straight to charge controller so I don't I didn't want the MC connectors on it I actually prefer not having it but if you can see the HQST has a much longer cord could come in handy also this is tinned and this one is not tinned and I've had them sit down the weather for about a month the tips open it's got a little bit of weather damage on there all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the panel right here um, kind of overcast right now there's clouds and there's a tree right there that's gonna wiggle around and cause a little bit of shading so it's kind of the setup I would like to test actually I want to get the readings off of this and see what we're looking at here as you can see, there's some shading going on right here. And this is a full sun. In, the imperfect environment, but I'm in Florida, so imperfect is going to be somewhat common. Now, to test these, let's go check out the meter here. When we do this, first thing I'm going to check is voltage. Voltage, you got 20. It's bouncing around 20 volts. That looks good. And the sun's out pretty strong right now. Got a little bit of shading on the panel though. A little bit of movement from the tree. Okay, very good. Now, let's move the Tim water over. And see what we're getting on in this sucker. Now the sun's coming out pretty good, but like I said, there's still a little bit of shading. 20.5. Both pretty consistent in that. Okay. Now let's change out and go to amperage because that's what we're really after, right? So let's move over here. I'm going to check DC amperage. And since we got the 10 watt in place, we'll go ahead and check it while we're here. 10 watts looking at 0 0.47, 0 0.45. Like I said, got a little bit of tree shading, 0.25 to 0.4. Move it out of the way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it full sun real quick and see what it does in full sun. I got that long cable is going to let me do that. Whoa, 0.59. That's pretty, par on, pretty on par right there. Let's put back partial sun or partial shading to 25 water. 0.5, 0.6, 0.6 roughly. 
Okay, that's good. Wow, because it's almost full sun. Tell you what, panels need full sun for full power. All right, I'm going to lay this one in as full sun. And let's see if my cords reach. It's going to be interesting if I can make it reach. I think I got it now. Yeah, I got full sun on this bad boy. Hopefully, I won't shade it. 1.29. 1.29. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't think it's putting out quite... It's full sun. I mean, like, this is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. In July, it is hot. You get 0 0.6 and 1 point... I'm going to round it up 1.3. That's just a hair over twice. And, you know, it's kind of close to what you would expect. And as you can see, the size difference here. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. It's quite a bit of size difference. Whew, it's hot. The Eco Power, Eco, the Power Eco is also a lot heavier. So it looks like the performance characteristics of both styles is pretty similar. They both drop pretty hard, but it's partial shading. They're putting out close to specs in full sun. The Eco might work. It's going to give me pretty much twice the power the hqst is two years old that may play a factor in it but it seemed to be putting out good power and the, eco, the power eco is brand new that might be enough to take care of my pro charging problem give me twice the power also the price difference two years ago the hqst i believe was in the order of 26 27 dollars and the power eco was 28 or 29 so it was about the same price but you know to your time difference it shows how much cheaper solar has continues to fall in price and that's a good thing well thank you for watching hopefully this will be a little helpful if you're trying to figure out what you uh, what you need in a small solar panel